I'm Brian Westbrook with Geekwire Studios here at NVIDIA GTC with Nebius. We are very excited to chat with the founder of Kassan AI. I have Pratik Desai. First of all, welcome to this gorgeous day in San Jose. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Uh, thank you, Brian. Uh, very excited to be at the GTC. I want to walk through your role at Kassan AI and really what do you bring and what is the company's mission? So, uh, Kisan AI is a pioneering agriculture generative AI uh, startup. Uh, we have been working on bridging knowledge gap between the farmers and agribusinesses by using uh, generative AI because generative AI uh, LLMs are pretty good at comprehension of what farmers talk. And we have seen due to like a lot of literacy and a language barrier, a lot of knowledge that produced by agribusinesses mm -hmm. in terms of product and labels and like user manuals is very difficult to reach to the farmers in developing nation and even developed nation. So we have been working and developing a foundation layer with a, a curated knowledge bases, uh, agri vertical specific models, and also like some of the workflow that works very well for agribusinesses to reach out to the farmers, such as advisory, conversational commerce, uh, customer support sales and retailer co-pilots. And uh, at Kisani, I am the founder. So I have been taking care of the the trade from the training of the model and writing the algorithms and uh, uh, been from the you know that that's basically my baby <laughs> uh, the start. and Pratik you describe yourself as both a farmer but you're also a technologist yeah. how do those two worlds combine and especially how do they combine with the use of AI yeah so I grew up on farm so I'm like a, by my ancestral like you know our occupation has been farmer but I studied my master's and a uh, PhD in AI ML and became a computer scientist, had like multiple startups in Silicon Valley. And then at one point I decided I want to go back and go and contribute to my com community. And that's how like I started the Agritech startup and uh, always been focused on using uh, AI ML to develop like uh, most of like the pioneering models in terms of price predictions, land, uh, land uh, notation. And uh, recently like we've been training uh, knowledge models with the uh, uh, generative AI. There's a lot of exciting stuff. We've seen some of the stuff you've come up with. You couldn't do this without Nebius. Tell us about why you chose Nebius as your cloud provider over all of the other solutions you could have selected. Yeah, so uh, Nebius has been really useful. Uh, so we were struggling to get larger cluster because we have been bootstrap startup and we are like working with agriculture. So it's not one of the lucrative startup domain where everybody would jump and help you out. But Nubius was there, they they were able to like, you know, generously provide us uh, as much GPUs that we needed for the models that we've been training. And uh, that has been really helpful because like we had like uninterrupted access to the nodes. Uh, also, uh, we found out and like, I personally also hands on do the training myself many times. And I found out like the accessing the Nubius uh, cloud and cluster was really easy, very straightforward, and it was like uh, anybody, in, even my team with no experience can use it, access it, and start running if they have been given the script. So the user experience was really great from the start to the end, basically. What specific Nebius products really stand out to you that are giving you better performance, cost savings, what have you? Uh, so we have been using the, the, the AI clusters uh, a lot, and that's basically where uh, our usage has been. And we also use the cloud for the inferences of like the deep seek model for some of the distillation that we wanted to do for the data. And uh, Nebius has the like the lowest price point actually for the inference of the uh, deep seek uh, R1 model. So that was very helpful. Talk about your team's use of Nebius. You mentioned some of this on the training side. How is it really helping with data management and analytics specifically? So, uh, being honest, right now the analytics part we are not using, but we are we we do use inference points for the distillation. So, a lot of uh, you know models that has been basically provided through the Debian cloud, like we use them for like some of the synthetic data queries that we have and a distillation of the model, so we can use that to training our own model. What particular aspects? Uh of Nebius, are you excited to explore more and do you look toward the future and say, this is where we want to be? Uh, the way Nebius uh, is able to kind of provide clusters for like, you know, like uh, hands-on training and all, meanwhile also having the cloud product where you can actually have the lowest cost inference. So you can parallelly work on uh, inference uh, and host models and also, you know, have the cluster for training purposes. So I like that they are they are doing both together at like a single point of view or like from the single company so we do not have to like move around resources and all so that that i think like really useful to begin and somehow like uh, 
as a as a startup founder like we always look for because we are also hands on we are not like running as enterprises where you have like so many folks doing small small we are like doing everything hands on by ourselves and i have found that uh, the price point of nibius has been like always based across any of the service provider while giving like the all those other like additional services and features you get around it right so many time when you go for bare bone met like you know the bare metal clusters that you don't get any service or anything at all over here it's like pretty good and uh, i think the the team always has been really supportive also like you know very like very like every time like you know when you when you reach out on support on slack channel they're like pinging pretty quickly and so always been there so that particularly i like because many time we have seen uh, in our experience that you know you request for a cluster and for 2 3 weeks you do not even get any response back over here this has been like really helpful so I like the way you know the this will been working out for us. Let's go from the people at Nebius to the products that it has unlocked for you. Is there th- anything as you think back in your journey so far that in your product pipeline this has really unlocked for you a product or a solution or a development a feature that you really couldn't have been able to do without Nebius? Uh so recently we uh, so we have been struggling to uh, train larger models and we always has like access to smaller clusters and recently we were trying to train a uh, deep six style reinforcement learning on image model for pest and disease detection in agriculture perspective and we like you know because we were able to get uh, the cluster that we requested uh, and that was that was very easy so earlier like i have been very vocal on my social media accounts about like smaller companies not getting attention or the domain like agriculture not getting attention much maybe because it's not very hot topic or maybe there is like not return of investment for other companies around but it does affect billions of people like india itself we have 650 million people working and associated with agriculture and worldwide there is like a 2 2 2 billion people in agriculture itself and this knowledge divide has been pretty low so this is a really impactful uh, like whatever we are doing basically because it's touching the people who are like far far away from the ai and uh, the this access uh, without that we couldn't have been even like try and experiment with the this models basically as you think to the future two part question what's next for you and how will nebius help you with that so for us right now we are uh, so even though like uh, you know we are the, we're solving the problem of the farmer directly we also got attention of most of the larger enterprises on agri businesses from all the verticals inside agriculture like agri input protection equipments food and uh, pro, uh, pro food processing and what's end up happening is that we are actually having lots of inbound in terms of how our platform is helping them out with the data curation because data is also very unstructured on that side to even enable any of the gen ai use cases and most of the time if you have seen in enterprises you cannot deploy a solution which is not working 100% of the time llms are stochastic models and you cannot just put unpredictability to the customer when you are actually directly delivering solution to farmers or customers who are not tax savvy <laughs> who can correct right so we are figuring out that like the solution that we ended up building with the knowledge graphs and uh, data and the models is working like 99.9% in delivering the results and we are seeing like really good response from the industry itself so we are right now basically in the scaling mode so we are hiring uh, we are raising and like multiple front we are basically uh, multiple cylinder we are firing right now and uh, we are going to have many opportunities where we ha- we have to train customers like uh, proprietary models and i think this is going to be the case where the nibius uh, cloud can very helpful because just like the way we, that we can be we can work as a startup very handy go work get out of it and like use it whatever we want must stay nimble Well thank you so much for your time Pratik Desai founder of Kasan AI we look forward to seeing you and your journey as the years come along we'll be back here at Nvidia GTC next year to learn how that's going I'm Brian Westbrook with Geekwire Studios thanks for watching